Howdy. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well. Mojave D here. I'm going to show you how you can get into all of the regions without a border pass. You need a border pass to cross the border. To get the border pass, you have to complete the storyline in that area. So in order to, and you can only use the border pass one time. So each region, you would have to complete the storyline in that region, get the border pass to go on to the next one, unless you do this. All right. The first, the first, I'm going to show you where they're, where they're at. The first border is right here. You're going to come from the town center over here. The first border is the, the, the Ediranian border. The Piton goes right here, and I'll, I'll show you on the video how to do that. From there, I went ahead and put uh, Pitons here to get down to this hidden camp down here. It's the only way to reach this camp. So uh, put the Pitons there. From there, uh, take jobs. Now, obviously, when you're up here, you want to take jobs that take you down to the southwest for, for these so you can do the jobs and make money on the way then you're going to head from here straight across uh, the south east uh, and I did the the rat infestation job here but you're going to head all the way over here to this uh, where is it that isn't where you want to be right here Mount Altus now from here is where your next piton is going to go and it goes right here and here's the border crossing but you don't have to pay the taxes and you don't have to have a pass again you get the border pass if you complete uh, the storyline in Tiltrin, but you can only use it for one time you can't get both of these but now doing this you just cross this border now from here you want to take jobs that take you up in this direction because this is where the, the next border crossing is and this is where the pitons are. You're going to need two, um, but one on either side. And I'll show you on the video how you do that. You, ha you have to actually uh, come up from here, from the stables here, up around behind it. Place one here to get on the other side of the border, and one here to get you to get back. And then you want to take jobs that take you up in, in this direction. Uh, was there a border crossing up there? Um, actually, no. That's it. That's it. You have now entered all of the regions without a border pass. Um, I don't have one. Oh, there's fog in the city. <laughs> we have a fog. We have fog in town. Um, I have I have not completed it. If you look up there at the top, it says I've, I've completed 80% of it. This takes about three to four hours to do this right from the beginning so this was my starting squad I want to say this about the squads you don't want to go with more than seven uh, six or seven you face less en enemies it's much easier to manage your your squad uh, because the, the, the I only have to pay them 127 on payday um, they eat 26 food um, and oh, I have a prisoner here that I took but uh, this was my my starting uh, four. This is the other reason that you want to go with just seven doing this. Now you can go to 10 and 12 later, but you, you face less enemies. The more in your squad, the more enemies you face. Uh, with this squad right here, I can eliminate every round of the rat infestation um, before the next round comes, before more rats show up uh, with just seven. You can't do that with... Um, if you have, if you go in there with 10, there's just so many rats, you get overpowered and, and you can't eliminate all of them before the next round and more rats show up. But by doing it with this way, I, I can eliminate all of them and I can also get the little outcroppings. But these are the four, I, I named them after the four musketeers, Aramis, Athos, D'Artagnan, and Porthos. But the other benefit of going with just no more than seven is all of them are involved in every fight. So they level up quicker and they get attributes quicker. If you look at Athos, um, or Aramis, um, all of my guys, I start the, the original four with Bloodthirsty and Strong. Those are the two buffs that you can give them. And you have to give them one debuff. I think Glutton is the least grievous of, of the debuffs, in my opinion. They just eat a, one more food each time. But he's picked up Instinctive. Um, the chance of taking a critical hit is reduced by 20 five percent he picked up duelist which increases his chance of getting critical hits and critical damage um, so he's picked those up in very few battles Athos has picked up 
they all start with the same three. I start them that way. Glorious. He gets a valor point at the end of each turn. Shield uh, connoisseur. Duelist. Uh, resilient. All of that because they're all very involved. Now, I did pick... Now, Hackert and Taurus, you get for free. Uh, you'll find them in the game. I'll do a video and show you uh, where you can get these guys for free. Now, Hackert is a ranger. He comes with nothing. Uh, no traits, I mean. But he's picked up quick, which means he, he gains an, an extra movement, an extra space. So he can, you know, he picked up Duelist and he's Carnivorous. He wants to eat just meat. Um, Taurus, on the other hand, has just picked up Carnivorous. He comes with nothing. But I just got him. Uh, he's level four. Um, if you look at my um, Archer, I had to pick up an Archer. I wanted an Archer uh, to round out the, the squad. So I have one of each uh, specialist. Uh, he comes with nothing. And look at what he's picked up. Bleeding inflicts 5% more damage. Resilient. Uh, he's 5% chance of resisting poison, bleeding, and, and burning if they try to put it on him. Glorious, where he has a chance to, to generate a, a valor point at the end of the uh, of each round. Opportunist. Um, um, damage from attacks of opportunity increased by 5%. Giant. Tormentor. He's picked up all of that very, very quickly. So um, I just wanted to impress that upon you. Uh, watch the video. You can see how I place the pitons, and you now have um, the ability to to go to all of these other regions, and you don't have to just stay in Tiltron and complete that. You get one pass. You can only use it for one border, and then go to that region, complete the storyline there. You get one pass. You can cross one border. This way, you've got them all, and that adds a lot more variety to the game. And you can now start setting up trade routes. This game is so deep. There is so much to this game. Um, uh, so I hope you enjoy this. If you do and you want to see me see further videos, subscribe so you get notified. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Take care of yourself. Howdy, Mojave D here. I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well. We're going to uh, attempt to do all of the border crossings without a border pass. Uh, I've got about 60 hours in this game, that's all. I, I just uh, I just discovered it, you know, two weeks ago. Anyway, um, I'm going to choose this one. Men escorting merchants who lost their employer. You get 150 extra crowns. That helps. Uh, minus two medicine, no big deal. Um, uh, usually don't use this one. I mean, I haven't. I used the first one uh, because I wanted an archer. Uh, so we'll be looking for an archer. To recruit and we'll be looking for a ranger to recruit i want to use this one because i want to use the four musketeers aramis athos porthos and d'artagnan because that's one of my favorite books that i read when i was a young puppy and uh anyway so we're going to start there also i think the sword i was looking for something that i that had four swordsmen but none of them do that because you know the the three musketeers and d'artagnan four musketeers were swordsmen uh this one comes the closest um i'm gonna go with use are used to long walks it reduces the speed at which the troops fatigue uh stacks by 10 percent because we're going to be doing a lot of running here we'll be setting pitons at all the border crossings hopefully i think i can do it and um bypass the borders and open up the, the other regions um, on this, I haven't given this a lot of thought. Let's see. Mm, don't want anything to reduce the crit. Uh, that's not a bad one. Um, we don't, uh, each companion's carry capacity uh, decreased by one, I think is the least terrible debuff. We'll go with this because we do have horses and the horses can carry. We're gonna use adaptive exploration so that all of the regions will adapt to the level that you're at. If you do this one, uh, it'll be a lot harder to do this at the lower levels, the region lock, because the you when you go into the harder uh, regions early on, uh, you'll get killed. So we're gonna go adaptive. 
you can pick your um, experience level. Like I said, I've got about 60 hours in, so um, you know you can change this at any time, but pick pick whichever one you want. Um, I go with free save so that I can save whenever I want to on this because we are going to do a lot of uh, traveling and running. There is one border, however, that um, you need to pass for because it's over a river. There aren't any mountains around it to hang pitons and ropes to, to bypass it. So I'm going to set these guys up. Uh, we're going to have Athos, Aramis, Porthos, and D'Artagnan. Okay, there they are. <laughs> Excuse me. Aramis. Athos. D'Artagnan. Scout is the pony. And Porthos. Now, they're all built the same way. Um, over here. Um, I want them to have swords and shields because they're the musketeers. Um, and you want... Um, you don't want... Well, we could. Yeah, we'll use it there. On utility, you don't want uh, a healer. These guys are all making contact, so I want I want wrath. So they all have wrath on them. They all have bloodthirsty. They all are strong, and they're all gluttons. Let's begin. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll just go through the start here. Um, we will pick it up, please. Pick, pick, pick up. <laughs> We're gonna get into a fight right away. A little bit of poacher. So let's see, what do we have? This guy's going first. It would be really nice to uh, keep him from shooting. I don't think I'm going to have anybody who can reach him, though. Um, so he's going to shoot at us. That's fine. Kick it off with Aramis. Now your spearman. Do, well, I don't. Uh, for beginners, your spearman doesn't have to be making contact. Um, he's <coughs> he's gonna get shot at. So that, that's fine. So he can. He has like a. A ranged attack, like a short ranged attack. Just knock him that way, and we need to be able to reach this archer anyway, so he's gonna get shot. Oh, he knocked him back. Dirty rat. Um, really wanna get to this guy, and he's got the best chance. Should be able to end this guy right here, I think. Nope, not enough to end him. Oh, yes. Can we reach? Can we reach? We can reach. Just to lock him up so he doesn't run and shoot at us from a distance. Can you reach, buddy? All right, Porthos. Not enough. Oh, yeah, he's got enough. All right, we have some loot. A dagger. I don't have a ranger. That's not going to help us. We did pick up some gold. That's cool. We will repair everybody. 
uh, Porthos got leveled up. Now he is a contact guy. <clears throat> really, in the early game, I like Vanguard. <clears throat> it allows him to um, to run uh, through and hit multiple. He's kind of a, a crowd control guy at this point. Um, won't be able to equip heavy armor. Um, we're going to go with Vanguard. Now, if I do get another um, Brute, I would change that. We can't do anything here. We don't have career plans, so we can't choose. Later on, we'll be able to choose which one of these uh, we go with. Um, let's go ahead. Well, we can make him healthier. Um, I'm going to go with Willpower, though, because it does add a critical hit also does critical hit but it won't increase his willpower let's do that we can we can get that later very good our first level up now um we can't move very fast yet hopefully that's going to change real quick we're going to come down to the stables. All I'm going to do is, um, I don't think there's any reason. We don't need another horse yet. Always scout around, looking for stuff. We can steal this. I don't see any reason to right now. I don't need to be wanted just yet. Or we can steal that. Um, no real reason to. No reason to buy any horses yet. Um, so we'll move on. Pick up some cloth. And talk to these guys. Are you bandits? We have nothing. We are only refugees fleeing the Ederanian war. Please, let us go. I I'm going you. to uh, fight him. <laughs> um, just to get some stuff, hopefully, and not get killed. And um, I'll pick up a recording after the battle. All right, we got some gold. And I think that's a better pitchfork than the one he's using. We'll repair their gear. And D'Artagnan leveled up. Now, he... This one, every time the unit ends their turn next to an enemy and is not engaged in combat, they gain a Valor Point. This one is for kills. Um, they gain a Valor Point. This one is every time they end a turn next to one of their companions, they get a Valor Point. Now, he doesn't engage that much, so I'm going to go with uh, Audacity because he has a, a, a kind of a ranged attack. So he can end his turn next to an enemy and not be engaged and gain a Valor Point. I think that's the best way to go with him. Down here, Constitution, ah, oh man, see, I really want to get the critical hit parts up and none of that will do that. Let's just go with Strength on this one because it does give him, it's the only one that gives him advantages in fights. And... Um, we should get a level up here pretty quick for, um, there it is, knowledge points. So, when we go to knowledge points, uh, run. Run will be the first one. And now we can move fast. And we'll go to the town, and, um, I'll start recording where we're gonna go. If I can bring the map up. This is all we've got. We want to head in this direction, so any uh, jobs I take into town, I want them to be in this direction right here. And that's where we're going to put our first piton, which is going to allow us to cross the border without a border pass into the next region up here. All right, in the town, I'm looking for an archer or, ah, and there's one, but not a good one. Willpower is only eight. And he's a loafer. Um, nope. And we're looking for a ranger. 
No ranger. This is a warrior. We already have one. Um, Willpower is only five. No. Um, ah, an archer. Willpower 13. Excellent. Um, we will be recruiting him if I have enough valor points. I won quite a few fights in the tavern. You can count on me. Takes 30. I have 52. Um, I will recruit him. And we may dismiss him and if we find a better archer somewhere. They have doubt that he's up to the task. Yeah, I do too. Uh, we'll get some jobs here so we can make some work? money. Our role as emissaries is to ensure that all service requests are fulfilled. We regularly update our job offers. And I want to go west. So this one is uh, south, east. Now, we do want to go east also. So we'll take this. Uh, is there anything? Nobody's going west. Nothing going west. Um, nothing going west. That's terrible. Um, well, here, the tomb, actually. Um, where we want to go is up by the tomb. So we'll take that one. Oops, no, not that one. Uh, cancel that. This one. And I guess we'll take this one going south. We don't want to do the rats just yet, man. Okay, now, let's see. We want to head in this direction. So actually, southwest. I was thinking up here. But we want to, no, this is where we want to go. Right here behind the Tomb of the Ancients is where we're going to place our first piton that will drop us down into the next region without going through the uh, border. And the other border is going to be in this direction. So uh, that's okay. That'll work. That will work. And, um,. I'll, now we will have to stay in Tiltron long enough to get a border pass because we do need one border pass because the uh, crossing goes over a river and there's no way to use the pitons to bypass it. So you will have to stay in uh, Tiltron long enough to get the border pass. All right, so now we're ready <clears throat> for the first border crossing. Uh, we did the uh, mine right here. See the the uh, Pedra Pedra Mountain Mine, and that is right here. There was a mission here. We did that. Got the ore out of it, and then you come up past the uh, Brotherhood Training Grounds, right here, and then you're gonna come up into the mountains, up into the snow, right here, to where this camp is. Get the stuff out of it. And we will place a piton right here. Want to make sure that it drops down on the other side of the uh, of the gate there. And presto, we are in Endoran. Then, this road will take you up to the town, but first, you want to run around here. We're going to go up on the back side of the tomb. We don't want to fight those guys just yet. And I'll show you why when we get there. All right, a little detour from our uh, border crossing thing. We, uh, oh, here. So, dropped the pitons here. Came back, uh, and then that's uh, in the way. Anyway, just come back up around. If I can get the map to show me what I want to show. I just came up around this way, and there's that champion down there that you can fight, but we're not going to do that. Dig here. And um, it looks like I'm going to get in a fight first. I'll be right back. <laughs> and nab it. 
Alright, dig here. These you can be you can earn about five hundred dollars uh, for trading these later on in the game. They're, they weigh ten pounds though. And that over me. So I'm gonna have to camp and make saddlebags. Oh great. Oops. Alright, from here. use a couple to get down here. This is the only way this. The only way. Well, we pick up 150 crowns, we pick up a nice um, belt talisman for um, our archer, and you pick up knowledge. Then from here, again, this is the only way to get to these. Um, well, we can go here or the other side. Can pick up the stuff. Can run around. Can we get down there? Oh, we got to do another one. Yeah, we're gonna have to do another one. Um. These you can get by running around. Um. Just going around the corner. But. The ones we got up on the upper shelves, that's the only way to get that stuff. Now, from here, uh, we're going to go back up to the, um, well, I'll show you when we get there. I'm just going to go right back up is all I'm going to do. And then I'll show you what we're going to do to get the next territory for free. What's the beat on? Actually, you don't have to go all the way back to the Brotherhood training ground. So, took the pitons down here to get into that little secret spot. And you can actually just go east from here. This is the route we're taking. Right through there. Okay, so what you do is you just come from here. Straight across towards where the refugee leaders refugee leader awaits you in the haven, uh, past the the rat infestation, which um, I did on the way, and you will come to this inn right here in Altus. So we have crossed into the region of Altus. There's a nice. Um, Archer here, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to keep the, the squad at seven. Now, from here, um, I'm what? I'm overweight? How did I get? Oh, from the. Um, how did I get overweight? I don't know how I got overweight. Let me fix that. <laughs> what we're going to do, though, is go straight into the woods over here to the next gate into the Ludern region. Hold on. Let me take care of this weight problem. Okay, I sold some rats to the innkeeper, so we got that handled. Um, I can't pick anything up, though. I am real close. So if we just go all the way through the woods here, and we don't want to fight anything because I don't want to pick up anything, all the way to the end, we don't want to fight anything. 
there is the other border crossing. I'm going to have to make camp, but we need to get up above it. This is the bandit camp, so I have to make camp. Okay, so now what we want to do is go, we don't want to fight, I can't carry anything. Um, let's see if I can run past these guys. Go back towards the inn. I can't pick anything up. Hopefully you can. We're going to have to get another horse. And then come around this mountain. And actually, I can lighten my load a little bit by placing a Pilton over here. Um, I have to pay them $124. This will actually give you a, a shortcut back to Tiltron. Uh, uh, this will get you back quickly, and it's kind of a shortcut to... Um, uh, Gossenberg. So, let's get up here and get this Pilton. Pilton. Piton. Keep thinking of uh, Tiltron. We're going to go right up on the top. You can see the gate right down there, the bandit gate. And right up here on the top. Now, there's the arena. We'll fight the champion later. Right now, I'm just want to get all these pitons set. Um, into the other regions. Let's make sure that the rope goes down where we want it to. It says it's not stable there. Um, there is a spot. I know there's a spot. Right there. And that should get us into the next region without having a border pass or having to pay. There we go. All right, next bypass. Uh, we were here. We we bypass. We put a piton here and bypass the bandit border crossing right next to the arena of legends. You can fight him if you want. I'll do that later. Uh, come straight on down. <clears throat> um, I put a piton here just so I could get down here real quick without running around these mountains to the. Um, this little clan here, Yevil clan, and free the, convince them to let the asylum seeker go. Uh, you get a couple of nice rewards for that, and some money and a little bauble for your belt, a talisman for your belt, which will uh, increase the uh, rate at which your uh, guy learns that you put it, give it to. Then uh, take a job that leads you in this direction which I did, uh, right here in the woods, we fought a band of bandits. And then you're gonna head right here to the Ladurn Stables. And what we're gonna do is put a piton up there. There's the border crossing. We're gonna put a piton there and a piton on the other side. And the way you do that is just by running around the stables. Piton, wherever it'll let you put it here. That works. And then one on the other side. Ooh, uh, this might over encumber me. It didn't. How much? Uh, getting close. Uh, Piton here. And you have crossed into Virtus without using a border pass there. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool.